sexually transmitted infections. Bacterial vaginosis. Bacterial vaginosis, also known as bacterial vaginitis, is a prevalent vaginal condition characterized by an imbalance in the normal vaginal microflora, resulting in an overgrowth of harmful bacteria. Etiology. Bacterial vaginosis is primarily attributed to the overgrowth of Gardnerella vaginalis, previously known as Haemophilus vaginalis. However, the condition is now understood to be polymicrobial, involving a synergistic action of Gardnerella vaginalis with various anaerobic organisms, such as Bacteroides species, Peptococcus species, Mobiluncus, and Mycoplasma hominis. A notable decrease of lactobacilli, which are crucial for maintaining the acidic pH of the vagina, accompanies this microbial imbalance. Clinical features. The hallmark of bacterial vaginosis is a malodorous vaginal discharge, which is why the term vaginosis is used, indicating the absence of significant inflammation. The discharge is typically homogeneous, grayish-white, and adherent to the vaginal walls. Clinical Implications in Pregnancy Bacterial vaginosis has been linked to several adverse pregnancy outcomes, including preterm rupture of membranes, preterm labor, and chorioamnionitis, making its management crucial during pregnancy. Diagnosis Diagnosis of bacterial vaginosis can be made using AMSL's diagnostic criteria, which consists of four key indicators. Presence of homogeneous vaginal discharge, Vaginal pH greater than 4.5, as determined by a litmus paper test. Positive whiff test. This involves the application of 10% potassium hydroxide to the vaginal discharge. The release of a fishy odor attributed to the presence of amines and putrescine. Presence of clue cells and vaginal smears, accounting for more than 20% of the observed cells. Gram-stained vaginal smear. The smear reveals a predominance of Gardnerella or Mobiluncus morphotypes with few or no lactobacilli, supporting the diagnosis of bacterial vaginosis. Treatment The standard treatment for bacterial vaginosis involves the use of metronidazole, an antiprotozole and antibacterial agent effective against the anaerobic bacteria associated with this condition. Typically, a dosage of 500 mg orally twice a day for 7 days is the standard treatment for bacterial vaginosis. Vaginal applications of clindamycin cream, 2%, and metronidazole gel, 0.75%, are recommended for vaginal application daily for five days. These treatments help in reducing the risk of obstetric complications associated with bacterial vaginosis. Partner treatment. Simultaneous treatment of the patient's sexual partner is advised to prevent reinfection. The cure rate with these treatments is approximately 80%. That's all for the video. We'll see you next time.